Welcome to Cook with Picture Nama. And today's episode is some sort of an extension of the previous episode. In the last episode, we had shown you the recipe of uh, shapla cherry and had cooked with shapla or water lily stems. Today also we are going to do something interesting. It's called shapla bhala. As we go on into the video, we are going to see that I'm going to make small rafts out of the water lily stems. Now, bhala means a raft. Hence, shaplar bhala. Let's move on to the recipe now. There are two or three water lily stems over here, which I have cut into two and a half inch length. And they're all washed and prepped and cleaned nicely. Now you will find the link in the description box to my previous video where I have shown exactly how to prep water lily stems. Once you have done that, then you pick up four to five of these stems and bring them together and get a few toothpicks with you. You will need two toothpicks for to make one raft. Uh, just see, bring them together and you know, like a skewer, just prick the toothpicks into the stems and make a small raft. They look quite neat and quite pretty and it's a little time consuming but you know you can get all your family together to do it. It's a fun activity even for the kids. I had my son over here helping me out in making these small rafts and uh, he really enjoyed the process. It was a lot of fun for him and you can you know get bowls of water and ask them to just uh, drop the rafts on the in the bowl and they will float up so it's a quite a fun activity for children. Now it's time to make a batter. Uh, take two tablespoons of besan, two tablespoons of maida, two teaspoons of corn flour and add half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, a little bit of salt to taste, half a teaspoon of nigella seeds and then wa use water gradually and make a batter which should not be too thick and yet not too thin also. It would be a medium sort of a batter. I actually ran out of rice flour when I was making this video but you can do this same batter with uh, rice flour and half the quantity of all-purpose flour and make the batter. So if you see that I'm adding more basin and flour because I realize I need more quantity, eventually I'm going to give the complete recipe in the, all the ingredients in the description box. You can have a look at it. This is how the batter should look, not too runny and uh, not too thick as well. So take a karai, take some oil for deep frying and let it become really hot. Okay, not too hot, moderately hot because we don't want to burn the fritters. Did you also know that shapla is the national flower of Bangladesh? And there are quite a few ways to prepare shapla. Honestly, I didn't grow up eating shapla and it was only in 2017 that, I, that my mother had sent some shapla chingri and we were intrigued by it. And apparently she had learned the recipe from uh, one of her part-timer who was working with her at that point of time. And thanks to social media, today we get to share so many recipes and in turn cultures of different communities. This particular recipe I picked up from my friend Dolon, her Facebook post. Now she's not much of a cook, but then her mother makes a lot of beautiful recipes and this one in particular was cooked by uh, Minu Mashi. And thanks to Minu Mashi, we've got Shaplar Bhala. You must try it out, it's fantastic. I'm adding a pinch of soda bicarb to this batter and a teaspoon of the hot oil into the same batter and giving it one whisk before dipping uh, the rafts into this uh, batter. So dip the raft and make sure it's coated, well coated with the batter and gently drop it in the moderately hot oil. Oops, this one has puffed up way too much, much more than what I would have wanted it to. So shake off the excess batter and then dip the raft into the oil. 
so that you you know you can see those beautiful ridges of the uh, stems you know that's how it looks like rafts they look quite pretty so you know once uh, it is golden on both sides then you can take them out with a slotted spoon and uh, yeah that's about all just keep a check over the temperature you know don't uh, let the oil become too hot keep it at a medium heat so that both the sides are equally uh, fried and then once all the rafts are deep fried sprinkle some rock salt or beet noon as they call it over the bhala and your shaplar bhala is ready do leave us some comments below and give us your feedback we would love to know that and subscribe to our channel like and share it with your friends and family